Hello, I'm Ray Blake and this is my bike trainer and I'm going to tell you all about it. First off we need to unhook the trailer so let me show you how that's done. So the first thing we have to do is undo this safety strap. The strap is there so that the trailer stays in one piece connected should this fail, which is very unlikely. Uh, the next thing we do is undo the bottom of this tie pin here, like so, and then we lift the pin out, like this, and then you can now see a hole that goes directly through the uh, trailer link and the um, actual trailer hook on the bike. So now I just pull it away, and there you go, it's separate, and you can now see the the hook on the bike, which is a kind of standard thing. So the trailer's apart. Let me tell you a bit about it. Um, it's just over a metre in length and it's uh, 475 in this direction in millimetres and the same height, <coughs> which happens to be the width of the um, metal bracket which I used as the basis of it. It's got a lift up lid. on a hinge and the lid was because I didn't want things to drop out um, without me noticing and it's constructed from hardwood plyboard I'll go through that in a little while um, the stats of it um, it can hold uh, about 30% more volume than one of those large um, supermarket trolleys from Sainsbury's and it can hold at least 35 kilograms of stuff that I tested that the other day and I suspect it can probably hold a bit more than that. Uh, if you want to come around the back it's got some features around here so it's got some knobs on the back so that it can um, be stored on its ends and take up less weight. It's got a light uh, for road safety reasons and a couple of very beautiful flags that I'm sure you've spotted. And these three hooks are for bungee cords to stop the lid jumping up and down. So how did I build the trailer? Well, um, I have woodwork skills, uh, but no metalwork skills. So I needed to start off with a frame and wheels um, and then build something on top of that. So I started looking on eBay for child trailers and I found that the um, Halford single child trailer uh, fitted through the narrow gate um, into my back garden so I looked for one of those and I eventually found one so here, here, here it is uh, that I bought for £41 which was ideal so once I stripped away all the fabric components I was left with a simple framework that you can see and a couple of wheels and that was ideal for what I wanted and I connected that up to my bike and that's what it looks like in this shot you can see the bike from behind you can see the narrow gate that it's got to get through and you can also see the fact that the trailer sits slightly to the left of centre this is presumably to keep it close to the kerb so I started the woodwork off with some 9mm hardwood plywood as the base which gives it a nice strong base and then I fitted some 5.5mm hardwood plywood as the sides with some strengthens. Then I stuck the hinge on as you can see here. The hinge is stuck on with uh, some very good Gorilla glue and I glued all the other joints as well in place and I eventually ended up with this and then I had to connect the framework to the box and so I found some odd bits of wood that were perfect size to connect onto the framework. Next job was to paint it with some wood stain and a few days later I took it on its first outing to Sainsbury's where I parked it outside the shop 
and I loaded a whole trolley's worth of shopping into the trailer with room to spare. So let me show you inside. Nice lid and the strengtheners are made of softwood and it's all been glued together as well as um, screwed together as well. Fairly um, strong size now, now that they've been glued with the strengtheners and the base is nice and strong as well. You can carry a decent amount of weight in there and um, it feels well put together as well. Let me show you the underside. It lifts up onto its back feet quite nicely. So here's where you can see the, the framework very easily. So this is the bar. If I undid that clip, this bar would drop down and, and keep out of the way as well, which is quite nice. So the framework is here and the wheels are here. They're also connected by these pins as well, so they can be easily removed. And you can see the way that I've secured the frame to the box with these bits of wood here. Uh, these, these bits of yellow wood are slightly less high than the grey metal and then these smaller pieces of wood screw on and they grip the, the metal to the, to the right place. There's also a couple of places where the frame itself has got holes in it so I've screwed through the frame into the wood, wooden box itself. You can also see that I've extended the box further back than the original frame had. This is so that the box sits level and, and, and the box has, has an equal length to the front and to the back, either, either side of the wheel axis, to, to, to make things easier to balance. So that's my trailer. It's been a great success so far and uh, I hope it uh, lasts a good long while. Any feedback now for you? So that's uh, giving you a tour, now let's uh, take it for a spin.